In the dim glow of the screen, you find yourself drawn into a world filled with secrets, deception, and a woman whose actions would make your blood run cold. This is the story of Dina Thompson, a name that struck fear into the hearts of those who crossed her path. She was known as the Black Widow, and her story is one of intrigue, manipulation, and a web of lies that ensnared everyone in its path. She was born in 1960 in North London and raised in a loving family. Her father, a prison guard and sports enthusiast, motivated Dina to take up gymnastics, which she excelled at from an early age. As she grew, Dina's sociable nature and charm drew people to her effortlessly. She had a way of winning over those she desired, especially men. After completing school, she pursued a career in banking, and at 22, she met her first husband, Lee Wyatt, on a blind date arranged by her cousin. Their love was instant and passionate, leading to a wedding two years later. The couple moved to the quaint town of Yapton, where they started a family and a business creating unique soft toys. Life seemed idyllic, with Dinah's charm helping her integrate into the community while Lee focused on their business, often away on work. Dinah Thompson, an apparently unremarkable British woman, became the focus of multiple documentaries, TV series, and criminal shows in her mid-twenties. She gave off the impression of being friendly, but she was actually a pathological liar who drove at least one man who genuinely loved her to death. Dina had a talent for getting away with crimes, but in 2003, she found herself in jail and was sentenced to life in prison. Unexpectedly, the court was lenient and permitted parole. Fast forward to 2022, and one of the most dangerous criminals survived her sentence and walked free. In the early 90s, Dina met Julian Webb, a young journalist who fell head over heels for her. He introduced her to modeling gigs for clothing and household appliances advertisements, catapulting Dina into the local spotlight. However, her life took a dark turn when she made a story about the Mafia threatening their family over a lucrative deal for their toy character, Leprechaun Sean. Dina convinced Lee to flee, leading him to a life on the run under a false identity. Back home, Dinah began an affair with Julian, who proposed just three months after they met. Their whirlwind romance led to marriage and a move to Brighton, where they started anew. But Dinah's web of lies only grew. She claimed to be terminally ill, lost her job, and soon began embezzling money from Julian's accounts. Julian, deeply in love, emptied his savings to fulfill her wishes. Dinah then pretends that she's suffering from a fatal disease and she needs money for the treatment. Julian gave all his savings to Dina for her best treatment, but as time passed, their marital bliss began to crumble. The money Julian had given her for her supposed life-saving treatment was disappearing and he grew concerned about her health. The real shocker came when he realized that there wasn't a single medical document confirming her fatal diagnosis. Then, in June 1994, tragedy struck. Just a day after celebrating Julian's 31st birthday, he suddenly passed away. The subsequent expert examination revealed that the young man had died from a drug overdose. Furthermore, after her husband's death, Dina attempted to collect a substantial insurance payment. However, her claim was denied due to their marriage being recognized as invalid. In 1997, Dina filed for divorce from her first legal husband. Less than a year later, she crossed paths with Richard Thompson. It didn't take long for Dina to captivate Richard as she quickly disclosed that she was suffering from a severe illness, claiming that she had little time left to live. Blinded by love, Richard vowed to make her remaining months a fairy tale and was willing to spend all his savings to do so. Richard, deeply in love, emptied his savings to fulfill her wishes. He dreamed of owning a boat and sharing his passion for fishing. Dinah not only supported the idea, 
but suggested they start a yacht rental company, making him believe they shared the same aspirations. Then came that fateful New Year's Eve. Dina prepared a romantic dinner for Richard, but it quickly turned sinister. She asked for his consent to tie him up, and he, unsuspecting, agreed. But as the blindfold covered his eyes and a gag filled his mouth, a brutal attack began. Richard managed to free himself, overpower Dina, and call the police. Her true nature was revealed, a cold-blooded manipulator with malicious intent. Dina was arrested and found guilty of numerous financial frauds. She was sentenced to nearly four years in prison. Even her first husband, Lee Wyatt, resurfaced, revealing how she had falsely accused him of crimes he never committed. Yet, it was the mysterious death of her second husband, Julian Webbs. But one confession to her best friend hinted at the sinister truth. She had poisoned Julian. Despite her conviction for financial frauds, Dinah showed no remorse or guilt. The story of Dinah Thompson, the Black Widow, continues to captivate the imagination, a reminder of the depths of human deception and the resilience of those who survived her games. As we reflect on her dark past and uncertain future, one question remains, who else might become entangled in her deadly embrace?